Hey Maths fans, looking at a question here on uh, frequency tables and, me and interpreting the mean from a frequency table. So let's get into it. We've got uh, some data here in this table. Uh, we've got the number of sick leave days per year. So uh, 12 people were taking about two sick days, 22 were taking three sick days, 24, four sick days, etc. Um, we want to know if this uh, data is discrete or continuous. Well, it can only take specific values, two, three, four, five. It's not measured, so I couldn't have 2.77 uh, sick days per year. So because we are only looking for specific values, that is discrete data, discrete data. Um, then we come on to the sort of main part of this. This is a four mark question now. Find the value of K. Looks like it should be easy. That four marks tells me immediately it's not going to be. So we need to know about finding the mean from a frequency table, because this is telling us the mean is four. We've got to work backwards to find this value that will be in that table. Let's see what the formula booklet uh, tells us about this. So if you if you have forgotten or, or, or it's not sort of something that comes to you quickly, the mean of a set of data, and this is for a frequency table, uh, it's the sum of the frequencies times the values divided by n. And n is the sum of all the frequencies. So it's frequencies times values, add them all together, divide by the total frequency. So in this case, we're going to be doing frequencies times the values. That's 12 times 2, 22 times 3, 24 times 4. Da, 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 da. That's adding up all the, the frequencies times the values. Then we're going to divide it by all of these frequencies added together. All right. Now we've got this value k in here, so this isn't uh, quite uh, as straightforward as it could be. Um, but let's do the top part of this fraction here. So let's uh, do each frequency times the values: two times twelve, three times twenty-two, da, 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 da. and I get this six times k in there. Now, the bottom part of this, the sum of all the frequencies, 12, 22, 24, 15, add all those together like that. Now, clearly we can simplify this um, for our calculation. So when we do simplify all this, 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 and this, all add up to 290. And then we've got 6 times k, which is 6k. On the bottom there, we've got this, 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 this and this add up to 77 plus a K. So sum of all of the frequencies times values divided by the total frequency gives us this um, expression here. Now we're told that the mean is four. So we can make this calculation equal to four because that is our mean. Uh, and then we're going to put that into our uh, calculator. So I go into equation, uh, then I'm going to go into solver, which is F3 there. And I put in that equation, make it equal to 4. And when I quick click solve, I should find, in this case, I've, I've used x instead of k, um, and x equals 9, or in the case of ours, k equals 9. And that's the value we were looking for. That's the solution to part B. There we go. So, do look up in the, the formula booklet if you forget exactly what you've got to do, but it's the sum of the frequencies times the values. If you had a group frequency table, this would be frequencies times the midpoints. So that's something to bear in mind, similar topic here. Uh, on to the last part. This is pretty straightforward. The sampling technique in alphabetical order, every fifth person, that's called systematic sampling. If you take every fifth, tenth, whatever it is, from an ordered list. All right, thanks for watching.